Joined uh, via Zoom by Professor Samson Mapueli, Head of the Science and Innovations Energy Secretariat at the National Energy Development Institute uh, for further conversation on this. Uh, Prof, a very warm welcome to you and thanks so very much uh, for being with us here on SABC News, sir. Uh, good, uh, good evening to you and the viewers. Yeah, let's talk about this deal. Uh, you know, it seems that uh, there's cooperation plans with a few countries in terms of energy where South Africa is uh, concerned. Uh, recently, you know, we read about uh, Namibia as well as uh, Mozambique. What do you uh, make of these uh, relationships that South Africa is trying to form with uh, different countries? So this, these are very good uh, relationships in my view. Um, the relationship with, um, <clears throat> with China, um, that is um, now, uh, you know, the, the talk of town um, has got quite a number of um, objectives uh, and key amongst those objectives uh, include the, the working together in terms of industrialization uh, in South Africa and yeah. also solving the energy crisis. So solving the energy crisis is just one of those key uh, aspects of the of the agreement yeah let's talk about the nature of uh, such agreements i mean obviously there should be some sort of a give and take from uh, both uh, parties if we're talking about you know uh, agreements of cooperation between two different uh, nations uh, what are the na what's the nature what, what do these sort of uh, agreements uh, sort of look like so in, in terms of China, they, they will benefit because China is one of our largest trading partners. Mm. Uh, that's the first. So when, when, when they ramp up uh, their trading with South Africa, for instance, I had their president talking about uh, increasing the, the imports as opposed to, to being uh, having this one-way traffic of uh, exports to, to South Africa. So once they start improving, increasing the imports, they will need a power system that is stable in South Africa because if they are, their imports are, are if, if our, our power system is not is not stable their imports will, their exports will be uh, uh, affected because their markets in China will be starved of the goods that they will be taking from South Africa that's the the one key aspect the next key aspect is in that cooperation, Chinese companies will be able to come and set up operations in South Africa yeah. and be able to, to generate income for, for China as well. You know, when you talk about, you know, China setting up uh, operations uh, in, in South Africa, you know, one can have two two separate fears here. One might be that this might be some sort of a parasitic uh, relationship in that, you know, given our power uh, issues, I mean, we're talking about multiple breakdowns every other day, um, or the inverse, where you know other countries take advantage of the fact that we're desperate uh, for energy uh, solutions and take more from us than you know they, they, they should. I mean, when you say uh, setting up operations, you know, in, in what way and what could that mean uh, for for South Africa? So, so the operations that uh, China, for instance, will have to set up in South Africa has got to do with uh, one the assembly of. Um, uh, uh, systems such as your solar PV and your wind turbines in, in the country or the manufacturing, uh, if they go to that extent of those those components in, in South Africa. And because they are one of our biggest trading partners so and, and we are well located in terms of access to the African market, they will then have access to the to the greater African market as well. That way they make they make profit and they employ uh, some local people as well in South Africa. So our economy also benefits from that kind of a relationship. But over and above that, because they are one of the major trading partners, it is their interest for our power system to operate optimally and they've got all the capabilities to ensure that that happens. If you look at the fact that they are running the biggest power system in the world. You know, we want to operate on an equal footing with some of these uh, countries uh, that we want to, to have uh, deals with and, you know, these sort of cooperation deals with. But already uh, it seems that this is we're on a back foot. Um, you know, we're talking about asking China to help us find energy uh, solutions that again creates what we've been trying to avoid, what BRICS nations have been trying to avoid in general, where you have this big brother, little brother uh, sort of uh, relationship. It's just a case of changing, uh, you know, who the big brother is in this particular instance. Is that not, you know, concerning for, for South Africa? 
Yes, that uh, if the relationship takes that form, it becomes concerning. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've participated in BRICS events, um, including this one, by the way, uh, si- since uh, 2010, 2011. And, and one of the main things that uh, South Africans have been pushing for is, is that leveling of the playing grounds. If you listen to, to, to President Ramaphosa, he talked a lot around technology localization and industrialization. If you do those two things, you, you, you level the playing grounds because instead of uh, mining our raw minerals and sending them away to China and elsewhere, and then they come back as finished products, we then do beneficiation inside the country using the machines and the capabilities that China and, and other uh, countries within the BRICS block, such as Russia, have got. Then that becomes a very good uh, relationship. A country like Brazil, for instance, uh, is at the forefront when it comes to your bioenergy uh, economy. We've got the bioenergy strategy in South Africa that has been approved by cabinet long time ago. We haven't been able to implement it. We can learn some lessons from them and then start implementing internally. But at the end, we need to ensure that we've got localization. I've been talking about some of the intellectual property that came from some of the research work that we've been doing in South Africa for more than a decade in the hydrogen space, for instance, where we've developed state-of-the-art uh, membrane electrode, uh, electrodes, MEAs. Yeah. Uh, so, so in that case, when the Chinese come and then they talk about uh, uh, the hydrogen economy, we need to ensure that those kind of technologies are taken into consideration and they form part of the production lines. All right, Prof, thank you very much for giving us your time. Prof Sanson uh, Mampueli, uh, they representing the University of uh, Johannesburg, uh, talking to us about the uh, cooperation uh, plans uh, when it comes to energy between uh, South Africa and uh, China.